The electron configuration for sulfur is pretty easy, but it's one of the most requested electron configurations. So, esk et it. I'm going to find sulfur here. It's in the third row of the periodic table, and it's the one, two, three, fourth element in this block. It's actually the sixth element in that row, but it's the fourth one in this little block here. I'm pointing that out because I like writing my electron configurations based on this chart. Some teachers will have you memorize this little staircase that helps you remember the order of filling. But order of filling is way more intuitive than that. You got your S block here, you got your P block here, you got your D block here, and you just follow along in the periodic table filling with electrons until you get where you need to be. Reminder, sulfur is here in the third row's P block, and it's the fourth element there. But to write out the electron configuration, you've got to do the whole shebang, starting with one S, and S's can hold two electrons. Then next is 2S. I'm reading it like a book. 2S, 2. Next you go all the way through 2P, but you can fit six electrons in a P subshell. Next you have 3S. That's 3S, 2. Now you have 3P. That's where I'm going to need to stop. And remember, it was the fourth element in that block. One, two, three, four. So you're going to write 3P4. And that's the full electron configuration for a neutral sulfur atom. Now you may need the shorthand version of that. From sulfur, you go back to the previous noble gas, which is neon, which takes you all the way up through 2P. So you can replace all this stuff up to 2P6 with Ne, and then you gotta write out the rest, 3S2, 3P4, if you want the shorthand configuration. Some of you watching this video probably want sulfur's ion done as well. Sulfur likes making a minus two charge, which means you add two electrons in there. Adding electrons is easy, you're just gonna add them to the subshell that was only partially full before. So I can rewrite the whole thing, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p. Now it was 4 in the neutral atom, but when you have a 2 minus charge, you've got to add 2 to that. So that is 4 plus 2, which is 6. Oh, that's actually isoelectronic with argon, but you might not have to know that. Shorthand, you go back to the previous noble gas. Notice I said previous, you can't just put argon in square brackets. You gotta list out that 3s2, 3p6. This is it, I've done four questions in one. Full electron configuration of sulfur. Shorthand configuration of sulfur. Full electron configuration for sulfide, or the sulfur ion. And shorthand for the sulfur ion. That's great, and we did it in three minutes. Hey, best of luck to you. I believe in you.